Yo, hello YouTube, we're back, Magic Jar Review, subscribe, comment below, um, but yeah, we've got to pick in what I'm going to do, um, if you haven't seen this on the show before, got to pick a guest, got to pick a restaurant, find out what's good. So, got the jar here, Magic Jar, oh. okay, 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 got to pick yellow and pick a blue all right so let's start with the guest all right so we got my boy Ayo um, he runs a podcast um, called Disunomics on Spotify on iTunes and he just talks about economics finance breaks all of these you know these financial and these economic topics in like terms that we understand not all of that higgy hagar jargon that they be doing maybe ask him about brexit i don't think you'll even know because nobody knows right now what's going on all right so let's find out where we're going so we've got a restaurant Um, Nakon Thai. So Thai restaurant. This is the first Thai restaurant we're gonna do on the show. I'm gonna put the details and the address up on the screen now. And yeah, we will catch you guys there. See you in a bit. Go with the flow, but I take time. I'm too busy looking at the waistline. She moves when I car, don't waste time. Don't think too much, cause it takes life. She got waste men calling all day. But you know so the first time I'm gonna eat Thai food that's not Basaba, bro. Bro, Basaba's not even elite Thai food. That's what I'm saying, I don't know nothing about Thai food. It's wavy, what are you talking about? Why is it? It's not elite. Yeah, but a lot of things, a lot of things we eat is not elite. Yeah, but I'm telling him that it's not. That's like the Nando's yeah, or Thai food. Like when a Carlo, when a Carlo was doing his thing, yeah, and it's like he's not even a revolution. <laughs> if I was to introduce somebody to Thai food, I'm going to take them to the summer. Yeah, the summer's trash. Nah, it's introductory. No, it's not. It's, it's introductory. introductory. You think in this economy, you think we have time for introductory? <laughs> Go give people the best. Yeah. Um, can I get the the calamari? Um, for main, can I get the pad thai? Yeah, now I'll go with the king prawn. Yeah. Um, can I get the nakon thai platter? And then can I also get the crispy chicken wings, the peak guy club? Yeah. Um, can I get the guy the paro but with prawns? Let me just get an egg fried rice. Yes. Yeah. Can I get um prawn sakuna? Um, can I get um the I don't want to mispronounce it. Pad Pad King. Or yeah. I call it the Big Bad King. Okay, you can call it that. Um, <laughs> can I get it with roasted duck, please? Yeah. And can I get that with egg fried rice as well? Yeah, egg fried rice as well. Yeah. Thank you. The review, we're back again. Um, Thai spot. We're with the. Hey, listen, Mr. Economics. I don't know if you're doing finance <laughs> on your phone. <laughs> What's this? Stocks and trades. <laughs> want to introduce yourself to my guest. Or oh, tell my audience, my viewers, who you are, what you do, what's been popping, what's the latest. Um, who am I? I'm a nobody, really. I don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do humility. There's no, no time. In case you don't know, maybe this guy don't know anything. So let me tell this guy. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I do podcasts. Well, I do one. Just in mix, I talk about finance and current affairs or social affairs. Or anything that's kind of popular, I try to give it like a finance twist or economic twist. How long have you been doing that for now? 2016 maybe. I just recorded my 97 today. So at first I was just doing it kind of here and there. Mm. And people were like, oh, did you actually like it? I was surprised. Mm. Okay, wrong. Well, okay, cool. Let me do it weekly. And because I tweeted I'm going to do it weekly, I had to stick to it. Do you have a studio or is it in your crib? No, I bought like, I bought, like the equipment. equipment. Yeah, so. yeah, best way still. Yeah. Uh, studio. Yeah, yeah. So how, how did the, you had a show as well? On March the 3rd, it went pretty well. We just did like good debates between people, talking about marriage, children, private schools, dating. It's obviously you just rattle the girls. <laughs> when I told when I told them how much the average wedding ring cost, yeah, the engagement ring costs. What they were upset? They were rattled, fam. How much is it? What a bag? 
like just over two bags. I don't know what, what more they want, bro. They, they obviously they're thinking they're thinking so about bust out protects. Oh, they're yeah. thinking. So like, would you would you say how much you would probably spend on a on a wedding ring? I can't lie, yeah. I'm Nigerian and Yoruba in it, so I'm image as well. So yeah, you being someone on the on the economic side of things, like and the first movement was. No, no dates. dates. No dates. I love that. That that no was a that was a great campaign. No Even though I was doing secret dates, I'm not tweeting about everyone. It. Everyone was doing secret dates. People are big mad, you know. I was like, cool, love sis. Right? It's just a day. I'm not saying don't eat, don't eat, or take away women's electricity. You were in a lot of people's market with with the no. Dates. If if my tweets are talking about dating you, that says a lot about your market, cause <laughs> it's not. You ain't got enough viva. Regardless, yeah, it made people think. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be taking these girls on dates. Fair, it changed the economy. Look, yeah, it did. But it was a good campaign. People are big mad with no dates. In terms of like me, um, I'm quite a generous person. So I'm generous with my money. The reason I started the campaign was one, jokes, it was just funny. And two, I can't lie, I've seen too many low quality babes talking too much crud. And, and it didn't make sense to me. Marketing is correcting. Economics is all about equilibrium. I need to bring equilibrium up, bruv. I was like, man, I can't out here do the most. And also, there's, there was like, Got to a point where I was seeing like men, young men, teenagers, young men, whatever you want to call them, flashing out, doing like they're stressed over. Do, yeah, like don't, just like even if they like the girl, like going above your means because people on Twitter have normalised this is what you do if you want to date somebody. Because when people tweet, their age ain't attached, their wage ain't attached. Yeah, yeah. So you might be seeing 28 year olds, 25 people who've been no, working no for a long time yeah. that, that can afford to take a girl, spend maybe yeah, yeah. a bill, bill, two, two bills, but. An 18 year old, 19 year old in uni can't afford that. Unless he's out here doing trap trap in the band though. I was also expecting City Social and that. But with the bridges, they'll be going to do Itsu. <laughs> no days, I'm about to bring that back, you know. Down, down, what do you think that? You think, oh, no, do you think the balance came? No, 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 what it was is because like, other guys were jumping on it, yeah? And then... then they weren't levels and they was messing up the... I can't be associated with certain brands, you get me? Do you know like, let's say you're, I don't know, you're Sony. You can't be associated with certain, you can't be associated with terrorist groups. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would the other group say like that? You didn't. Like, I just, I just thought they were a bit, they were a bit loserish, innit? and then the girls would be dragging them. But I'm like, oh. And then it'll bring your. Which one is this? What's that? Sorry, calamari. Okay, cool. I ain't got no problem. I move. I ain't got no problem. Cause we ain't got no problem. We move. We ain't got no problem. I ain't got. I move, I ain't got no problem. No problem. We ain't got no problems, no problems, no lingo. Hot girls down for the lingo. I know people have got gym on me. Taste this shit. The way they all gassing this thing up in the in the description, it comes to like one bird's eye joint like this. <laughs> <laughs> As a Yoruba man, with all your pride and ego, there's points where it's you have to consciously not get finessed. If you don't watch yourself, you can let your ego just you will just pay for everyone in this building today. <laughs> you have to be self-aware. Because girls know this, they like try and use that to try and like. My female friends know that if we go out, I'll pay. It's not a finesse thing because those are my burdens. I think it's just about being selective. Like I'm a generous person, but I want to spend my even my time with people who I find jarring. I don't trust guys in general with their selection because <laughs> we're seeing we're seeing the outcome. Oh this is nice though. It's like soya bro. Oh lord what is that? Mm. Podcast wise is there like a a goal to be somebody is especially in our own community, that something's reliable to go to for information. Okay, that's good. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes you and that other guy, Ash, have to listen to what you man say about regardless of politics and news, because I can't lie to you, I don't understand the higgy hagger. Man will be talking in jargon, that's why nobody pays attention. <laughs> is it nice? You know there's some funny man... Yeah, this one's nice. Where one is it? Nice, there's a bit salty on the, on the salty side though. Try the shit up. No, I can't wait for Brexit, you know. <laughs> yeah, that must go. It's the first one I was going, bro. When I go, I'll celebrate too. <laughs> you know how expensive it is to go to Ghana? Dude? Now you're offering me free flights to Ghana. How if people do the best calamari? Because I don't have so many dead ones, yeah, I don't even order it anymore. That's so what I'm saying. In this economy, yeah, girls need to simmer down. Because if you're not going there with your, your bread trains, cool off. <laughs> I don't believe in anniversaries, you know. Unless I'm married, what are we, what are we celebrating? My dream would be having my anniversary on Valentine's. Oh, you and, never, and, find, never and finding a girl whose birthday is on Christmas. <laughs> Gone there, man. That's what I'm going to say. Slashed. Four events. <laughs> into, into tea. Thank you.
Thank you. That's yours. Uh, no, no, your team looks lit, man. For once, you did a better job than me. <laughs> Those prawns are kind of jumping, I can't even lie. You haven't been eating with your sauces? The uh, one they're giving me so many, bro. This is, this is Burger King. <laughs> okay, get the hell out of here. Burger King. You're actually so dumb. <laughs> bro, I mean, so how many good. sauces are what burger you use, bro? What's the egg fried rice in? Is it good? Yeah, egg fried rice is fine. This is buff with the, with the peanut sauce. Mm. Pecking sauce. What's your favourite place you've been so far? The quality of the food? It's gonna be truth. It's gonna be a Valentine's Day, man. All the food was just good, like. I heard, I heard. It's... We had bear, we had bear of it. It was just, that was good. Considering how much I was complaining about going because it's far, I got there, I was, I was already grumpy. Spending my Valentine's with Jesse, I was like, ah, what kind of life is that? <laughs> my age mates are married now. Have any of y'all seen Captain Marvel yet? Nah, but I, the reviews are looking so terrible. It was alright, you know, I think it's alright. No, nah, but you know it is. As soon as they casted one woman and she didn't have back, I was like, okay, this movie's yeah. done out here. Bro, Captain Marvel in the comics has a back. Oh, yeah, yeah, she got yeah. the double cheek up on a Thursday. So this one, I was like, yeah, this is not accurate representation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to um, April though. Oh, listen, April was just crazy. I got Game of Thrones. See Game of Thrones, yeah? I think I'm gonna watch it live as it comes out because I don't trust the internet. I am going to bed at 4 a.m. because I'm gonna watch it live. Yeah. And I don't care. So, what time does it come out? Like 2. What day does it come out? Yeah, Sunday to Monday. Because especially last year there was leaks. I can't lie, I watched one of the leaks though. I couldn't wait till the following week. Really? Yeah. But then I was pissed because I had to wait two weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> big, big company, you're letting leaks. But don't get it twisted, it was the jihadi of hackers that got them. Oh. The thing about HBO, most of the people who are watching it have already paid for their whatever they're watching it on. It's not like we're paying two pounds, like back chat every time we watch it. HBO left it on blue ticks, you know? In Game of Thrones, yeah, I, pr I practically disagree with everything they do, apart from the fact that kings have to go to war. So how can the king be chilling on the throne and then everyone's getting that? Them times to get to levels, you have to go to dumb man's dance, bro. So Jon Snow, yeah, he's frontline, I don't know what he's doing now. See me, I'll be there to swing, yeah, but man's not going frontline. <laughs> man's in the middle. Man's at the quarterback, and then run. The man in the front will definitely get touched. You could be touching everybody, yeah? When Aaron's going, shoot. <laughs> But I'll give you one skid fade. If it was it Napoleon, I got the first banners. <laughs> in my mind, the funny thing is, in my mind, yeah, the first man with a gun, yeah, must have been a wavy thing. Like, the truth is, yeah, do you know how long it took <laughs> yeah. to reload? <laughs> and you were, hey, wait, wait, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. I dare you, man, to wait. <laughs> men that have guns, yeah, they move so different first. Men that have a gun want to rise it for anything. Imagine they're just looking at them, just looking around, just waiting for somebody to make the wrong move, just so you can rise it. <laughs> but imagine this season of Game of Thrones, yeah, they gave the White, White Walkers burners. Oh, uh, that's just unfair, bro. See that Night King, he pisses me off, bro. Man, man dashed the arrow like a javelin. As soon as she took the, all of them, I was like, yeah, you're dumb. I'm just saying she's like the guys with the burners, bro. Yeah. She just wanted to. Yeah, you know I know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, I want to bring a Mac 10. Yeah, I'm bring... it, Think about when she went to go meet with Cersei, bro. She came. No, no, but I was, bo was bossy. bossy then. Yeah, I know, I know. Just to let her know that, listen, that's got it. It's local, isn't it? Do not mind that I always have black leather gloves? <laughs> Even if they're topless. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's hand parked, they wear singlet. <laughs> when you got yeah. a gun, you have to get the leather gun. It has to cover it. <laughs> when I'm not taking that leather gun. Even when I'm showering. <laughs> with that man in the magic jar of you, he's got the leather gloves. <laughs> Kind of steak. <laughs> yeah, she had to let Cersei know that. Listen, one wrong move, turn into Suya cards. <laughs> Cersei's my favourite character though. Is it? I'm on and off with her. You know it is. I hate her, but I respect her. I, I was like that until the, when they tried to take her to court and she lit everybody up. Here's my thing with Cersei. It's just unnecessary evil. <laughs> That's why I like it. Like, exactly. There's, there's evil to get... Okay, I'm going to be evil so I can get this yeah, plate or whatever. Evil. But That's hers is just, after a while, she's just evil for, ah, I'm not I doing think. anything on Monday. <laughs> let me just, let me just, let me just <laughs> you look on her Google Mac calendar, yeah, you just see evil, 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 lunch. <laughs> <laughs> evil, evil, sleep with my brother. So, so one of my happiest moments was, yeah, 
was when you know her son, the pussy or when he killed himself. No one cared. No one grieved. People were like King Tommen has committed suicide and everyone was like he was king. During that whole altercation between them man and Cersei and he was just moving like a dickhead. Even though I was happy that Cersei was getting violated, I was just like you're still a pussy or Yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. The toxic kid me was not having his behaviour. The daughter was probably normal, normal yeah, but he was getting poisoned her quick. Quick quick things. <laughs> I can't even remember what she said. Bro, I don't even remember what she looks like. Yeah, she had like three lines. Mm. I'll see that um, that actor walk down the street. <laughs> Everyone would just walk She gets up. no love. If I see Joffrey, I'll, I'll probably screw him. If I see Ramsey Bolton and the I'm banging him in the face. I don't hate your actor. I hated Ramsey with all my heart, you know. Nah, Joffrey, I, I, hate thought, Joffrey I, thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I hate Joffrey, but Ramsey. I get how Joffrey became Joffrey. Like he was spoiled, he's already sadistic. Yeah. But it's because everything has been given to him. He's just he's just a wild child because of that. But Ramsey, I just I don't get his MO. Like. Ramsey is just a different spectrum of Jon Snow. They were both waste men yeah. of the family. Yeah. I'm saying Jon Snow took a calm approach and Ramsey took the extreme approach. One man did ISIS, the ISIS approach. Uh, two sides of one coin. <laughs> two sides of one bastard. I'm actually sad that this show is coming to an end. Bro. It could probably go for like two, three seasons because of the way the storylines are so deep. Sometimes uh, these type of things just need to end yeah. so that they don't ruin it. I can't lie, yeah. Although I have my favourites, I see you want the White Walkers to sweep everybody. I want the Night King to sit on the throne. Yes. Either that or everybody's duppy that then one useless Sam Tarly comes and sits down after everybody's dead. I don't want to see John. I don't want to see Daenerys. This is real life. It's not a happy ending, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Laughing in fairy tales. Do you know when people say that like, they cry in films and stuff? When I watch something, I, don't, I never get emotional, innit? But see the Red Wedding, I wanted to write a letter to everybody because, yeah? Like, I was fuming, fam. I was fuming. I was ready to email when Ned died. Because what I didn't understand is you made us for nine episodes. You made us believe that this guy was the one. And it also affected my life. I was like, well, if Ned can do it, then I, I can do, do it. it. <laughs> Someone said, yeah, that the whole thing will end here. Yeah, and then <laughs> Rand will wake up from the fall and say, oh, it was all a dream. <laughs> if that happens, if that happens, nah. Nah. Who do you fight? We all have to link up. And go to wherever. Yeah, we have to. And go and go there. Protest. <laughs> Not protest, but everybody's getting swung. Mike man, makeup director, everybody's getting swung. I invested this much time. For you to tell me what you man was all doing. It was all a dream. I see word up magazine. <laughs> oh. Now literally, you're right, you know. Everyone actually even Ed Shireen, because I'm sure he knew about Yeah, he, he's getting he's getting he's drenched too. I'll be like your stormzy, where are your boy at? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's work saying? Like, how's work? How's the environment? How's pays the bills? I, I'm not really built for corporate world, you know. Yeah, that's that's why that's why I wanted to ask you, but you're too you're too much of a warlord. I can't see you in a corporate. I wear trainers to work. I have my AirPods in at all times. <laughs> I'm so finished. Like, my meeting, she's like, oh yeah. Also, sometimes like you need to limit your AirPod, um, your usage of the headphones. So maybe like an hour, and when you come in, you have it enough for hours. You take it off. I said, um, sorry, I don't agree with that. I, I like to listen to music or podcasts to get through my day. Otherwise, I'm be bored on my skull and I'm going to continue to do so. Like, I'm thinking I'm an adult. You can't tell me to not have my headphones in. You're all right. <laughs> but when I first started working, I was gas, wear suit, wear tie. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I've got a picture of him on the train in his suit. And you're in your grey suit. <laughs> <laughs> I wear trainers to work. I wear Vapormaxes. No, no, but that's what happened with me. When I first started work, new white shirt every day, different oh, tie. Man. Bro, come and see me at work canal, bruv. Man just throw one on polo neck. I do my own dress down Fridays. <laughs> I say, if you don't want to implement it, that's your own. That's why it's so difficult for like us people that we want to, we are five to nine is what you want to do. But our nine to five, if you're working out to five, pays the bills, isn't it? Mm. But like, you need the time. You need the time to execute your five to nine. It's, that's what I call it a rat race, I guess. Man, just start trapping, bruv. <laughs> Yeah, no, the, the starter was good. The calamari was very, very good. I can't lie, the pad thai was, it was decent. It wasn't anything to shout at. Not the best pad thai you've had? Best pad thai. It was, it was, it was decent. Um, taking into consideration everything, I'm going to give it a solid uh, 
Uh, 3.5. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I get? I got some flipping oven food prawn starter that wasn't really jumping. Um, the rice was the rice was decent. The sauce for I can't remember what I got. I think is Ned Fried King or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> but but the Ned Fried King. The Night King. I got the Night King. No, um, the duck wasn't very great, but the sauce was nice. And then the orange juice was alright. I'll give it. Give it free, just about, because I'm young. But yeah, but I had I had some of um, Kumi's calamari and that was jumping still. But yeah, I'll give it a free. Come. Yo, welcome back, Magic Jar Review. We're back from Nakon Thai. Let's, let's talk about the food, the food, the food. For my starter, I had the Nakon Thai platter and literally it was a bit of everything, in it? There was a chicken and beef satay. The beef one, yo. That beef one was lit, I can't lie to you, man. Go there, get a beef satay. Um, that thing was tasting like soya, fam. Chicken one, mm, it was all right, not so great, but I think that, that beef one had like, had that kind of like that, that, that spicy thing going on as well, man. I remember that the Thai dumpling was all right. The prawn toast tasted like some oven thing. The pure pia piak, I don't think I ate it. Anyway, I wouldn't advise it. You should get that. Just pick a, um, a star that you like and just run with that. Um, I was just trying to taste as many things as possible. I also had the peak guy Todd, which is basically chicken wings. They were really nice. Thai in general always do good wings. Sometimes they do them really small and thin or a bit thicker. Wings from Thai places always bad. For my main dish, I had the guy Graparo. It's got like a two chili rating, so it's supposed to be a bit spicy still. Um, and it's basically sliced chicken or beef, stir fried and fresh fried basil leaves, chili, onions, mushroom, pepper, and, and fine bean. There's an option to have it with prawns instead. The dish is £9.95. Um, the option to have it with prawns is £13.50. Prawn. It was it was decent. It was like almost like a black bean type of sauce and prawns were in it. And then I had that with egg fried rice. The egg fried rice was underwhelming. I've had better egg fried rice at Chinese takeaways. But it's even my fault. I should have not even got egg fried rice, man. Egg fried rice is basic bitch rice. And the service was great. I don't know if it's because he saw us with the cameras or not, but yeah, so I'm gonna give that 3.5 out of five. Food like the food was decent, there was nothing bad, you know? It just wasn't spectacular. And is a is a very nice location. I like the restaurant, I like the way it's designed, I like the interior, it just looked nice, it looked neat looks, you know, day -y, birthday, all of that. That's a 3.5 out of five. We don't decide, the jar decides. Plantain Pappy, signing now. Woo! <laughs>